Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the month of November. A lot of you guys are going to be watching this in October. This is for November. So, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius for any time in November? Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have? Suffering in silence. So this is the Nine of Swords. So the card speaks for itself. So that is anxiety, depression, feeling alone, uh, suffering in some sort of mental turmoil, right? I feel like you're very worried about things. You're feeling very, very, very alone this month. Um, not really talking, maybe feeling isolated, uh, maybe choosing to be isolating yourself um, closure is needed in a situation but it feels as though you're maybe you got some sort of point to prove or there's fear in the way there's a blockage something is blocking you it's your own thoughts it is your own thoughts your own thoughts are getting in the way of your happiness um, you need to speak up you need may need to ask for help you may need to uh, you know, it looks like you're in some sort of dark place and, and maybe, and that's mentally, okay? Because that's a nine of swords. That's, that's a dark place that you are in, okay? This is a minor card, which means you can control it. You can control your thoughts, but sometimes people think that they can't. It's mind over matter kind of thing. Um, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. I feel like you need to find some sort of, um way to communicate with people you know and and put yourself out there the nine of swords you may maybe you're feeling guilty for something or you're feeling ashamed you're definitely doing a lot of thinking this month uh thinking about you know whatever has happened in your life um that's that's mental anguish right there um feeling very very alone so what do we what do we have for Sagittarius? Need to speak up, need to communicate in a positive manner, you know. Be open to listening to advice, be open to other people's perspectives. The lovers. The this is an unexpected choice in love. Okay, that's the meaning of the card. This is a healing love. This is a new contract. This is a new union of some sort. Unexpected. A major choice. You're going to have to make a choice this month. There's always consequences with the lover's card. Consequences in regards to the choice. You can choose to focus on the past and, you know, be unhappy. Or you can choose to focus on the future. I feel as though you have an opportunity to commit to something beautiful. But it's your thoughts and your your feelings and your worries and your anxiety and your um uh, well, your own mental conflict is holding you back from happiness. This is an unexpected choice. You're going to have to make a choice this month. Okay? Um, it has to do with a partnership or a contract of some sort. Because the lovers is a contract. Looks like you... This is very unexpected. You may, you may come together with somebody unexpectedly when you are in a deep, dark moment. You're in a deep, dark place. You're all alone. Somebody may be arriving because I often think of the lovers as Cupid's arrow, you know, of uh, or an Archangel Raphael, you know, bringing two people together at the right time, at the right place. This is a soulmate connection, and it's in your your dark night of the soul moment. You're all alone. You, you're thinking you're going to be alone forever. You're never going to be happy, and this is what you've been waiting for. So that could be the case. Um, the lovers is on. but the thing is, is you, 
You need you need to turn around or you need to you need to be open to possibilities. Which is interesting. So that's an unexpected choice in love. That's a realignment. Okay. Um somebody you could grow old with, but I got chills. You may you may come together with somebody that, you know, uh you're meant to be with. They come in your your deep dark moment, whatever that means to you. Um, one more card. You're not expecting them. Put it that way. Totally not expecting this. This is not who you think it is either. So for those of you that think it's, it's somebody, it's not. It's not. You don't know who this person is. So I just cleared that up for you. Tree, affairs with your family. Lily, spiritual love. And this is a very spiritual love as well. Kite, vacation. And some of you may be going on a vacation. Maybe you're going, it feels like you're going someplace by yourself. Wherever it is that you're going, it's healing. Because this is a healing love. And you're going someplace to heal and, and even if you're not, it's like you're going someplace by yourself. You're going and you run into this person or you're, I don't know, something to do with meeting this person spontaneously. You're going to feel a connection immediately to this person. Um, you are going to be dealing with affairs with your family. And maybe that's why you're suffering. Maybe you don't have support from your family. I'm not sure what is going on, but there is something going on with your family. Um, either way. What do we have for Sagittarius? I think you're feeling very alone. There's not a lot of family support. You're going to have an unexpected opportunity that comes out of nowhere. This is a, a higher power bringing you together with somebody that you totally unexpect that can help you, that will, that will be beside you, that will, that will, uh, uh, stay with you, whatever that means. I don't know. And you, and it feels like you're going to meet this person, you know, in travel. We are going somewhere. You know what I mean? It's in some sort of travel. And you feel a connection instantly. It's an instant connection. This is not somebody from your past. So I just, I need to clear that up. It's a strong message that you need to hear. Because I mean, get, and I don't, I haven't been saying that a lot lately for for my readings it's not this is definitely not somebody from your past i feel it very strongly nine of pentacles reversed so this is a need a need to take action it is the nine of pentacles reversed you have to you have to know your value you have to know your worth you may have to put in some effort there's a lack of discipline here. You may need to find some discipline. There's some sort of insecurities. The Nine of Pentacles upright is somebody that is very self-sufficient, very self-disciplined, very hardworking, a very secure. It feels like you need to work on building yourself up. You need to work on uh, your abundance. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on your insecurities. Your insecurities on the inside. Okay, you need to work on those. I feel like, right, and then this is a lack of grace. Maybe you need to find some inner grace to be gentle, to be kind with others. Seven of Pentacles reversed. That is dissatisfied, unrealistic, no growth here. We have some, and this is like, I feel like we have somebody here that's angry dissatisfied with a current circumstance. I feel like I see a scowl. Yes, going somewhere. This is this is traveling. You're going to be going someplace this month and I feel like you're you're going to, it's like going to a new destination. Get prepared. Get prepared to go someplace that you uh, I don't know if you've been reluctant to go. Uh, three of Wands, that is getting on board. Leaving something behind, focusing on the future. 
leaving the past behind. It's time to focus on the future. It's time to go. You're going somewhere. And this could definitely be a vacation. You may be going someplace. There's like a distance here. This is like going the distance. You're going to have to be disciplined. Very, very, very disciplined. Because I feel like where you're at, there's been no growth. There's been a lot of dissatisfaction. There's probably not any money either there. There's, there's a loss. There's no financial stability here. Okay, wherever this is, there's no money. There's no success. There's... You know, it's not working out. There's, it's not. This, this, this time is over. This season is over. This hasn't made you. Um, it hasn't gotten you to where you need to be. Put it that way. So I think that you, this month you're gonna be. Uh, I mean, this is this is looking in the future, focusing on the future, removing yourself from an unstable situation. Page of Cups. Now that is a message of love. That is, uh, somebody showing their feelings, a crush, a uh, secret admirer, uh, being love struck. I feel like you're gonna, if you are independent, okay, you're independent, you're not looking, you're in a desperate situation, or you're into some sort of despair. I really feel like, you know, if you're independent or whatever's going on, I think we have you're not going to be independent for long. I feel like you're going to you're going to meet somebody in your travels, wherever it is that you're going, you're going to meet somebody. Um this is somebody that um is very loving. Probably uh very caring, loving, caring. Page of Wands reverse, but you know, this is your energy, the Page of Wands reverse. You have to be open. This is this is negative. This is making excuses, procrastinating, uh being a show off, being obnoxious, just being honest with you. This is bad news, being negative, being uh you know, not being positive, not thinking positive, not putting in effort, not not uh, allowing. I feel like you've been in a bad situation where there's been no growth and it's made you angry. Like I said, I saw anger here. This is definitely angry. Very pessimistic. You may be very pessimistic. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be assisting you. They're going to be offering you some sort of support with this Page of Cups. Towards this page of wands, we get the page of wands in reverse. That's your energy. That is a level of confusion, indecision, pessimistic, always putting people down. You know what I mean? It's unwelcome news. You know, I don't know what is going on. There could be, if, this is good news. This is unwelcome news. You, you may see it as being bad news. You may not trust. And this is not trusting. I feel like you, somebody is coming towards you and you aren't going to trust them. I feel like you're not going to trust them at all. And I feel like it's, maybe you're angry because maybe you're angry with the world or you're angry at somebody from your past or something like that. You need to trust. You need to have faith. Anyway, there's somebody that is really love struck by you. And that's what I see. That is what I see. I think it happens very suddenly. I think that you're not going to trust this person. You're going to be like, hmm, you know, what is up with you? You know, I don't think you're going to trust them at all. I also feel like you have been nurturing something or investing in something that is dead. Okay, because that's the seven of pentacles reversed. It is. It's a dead end. Okay, it's like you've been investing in something that is over. And perhaps you've been doing that because you don't want to be alone. You know, if it's over, it's over. Why invest in something if the if there's no romance there or it's dead or you don't have a connection anymore just because you're afraid of being alone? Anyhow, get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. It is an arrival of love. It's an unexpected love. It's somebody that uh, you totally don't expect that is totally going to be flirting with you. This person is going to be crashing on you. They're going to be... Uh, Trying to get you to open up to them. Put it that way. Um, get prepared. Now, there could be news of a child as well. Because, uh, you know, this could be news of a child. This is ha happy news. Um, which is interesting. 
get prepared get prepared for an arrival death reversed oh my god so this is a death reversed is uh <sighs> being held back by fear holding on is getting old this is a disaster and you may feel like it's a disaster it could be an accident or an incident or you know it's you're holding on to something that is dead i just said that and it needs to be let go Leaving this dead end behind. It's time to focus on your future. Yeah, trapped in fear. Defeated. Don't trust. You don't trust. You are definitely trapped in fear this month. Five of Swords, that is defeat. Walk away. Wanting to walk away. Now, the Five of Swords is somebody that doesn't have any morals. This is somebody that doesn't have any conscience. That doesn't care who they hurt. This person doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. They want to win at all costs. So, I don't know if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is mental turmoil, trapped in fear, feeling defeated, being defeated. I feel as though your fear is really holding you back. And ego, this is a card of ego. You definitely have an opportunity for love here, but you're going to have to make a choice. And the choice is in regards to what your heart wants. You know, are you going to let loneliness get in the way of happiness because you're afraid to be lonely? You know, you're afraid to be alone. You're afraid that you'll never find him. But there's somebody else here. It's not the one that you're thinking about. It's somebody else. I hate to say that to those of you that are got your heart dead set on whoever. That's not this person, okay? This is defeat. I also feel like we have a hostile situation here with the Five of Swords. That is hostilities. Now, there is the, the, the Eight of Swords is uh, prison. Okay, it's prison. It's, it's jail. It's trapped. It's, co it's confinement, being confined, trapped, trapped in a situation, unable to break free. But it is thoughts. You, there's some sort of, it's just, there's some really... Uh, well, there's mental turmoil here. We have somebody here that is, is not in a good mind space. With the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Really, really, really struggling. Five of Swords is a power struggle. Struggling with their ego. Struggling with their thoughts. Struggling with fear. Struggling with wanting to win at all costs. You know, instead of acting, it's either love or hate. Okay, love versus hate. I mean, just being honest with you. So, you know, you can you can choose to love or you can choose to hate. The choice is yours. So anyway, there is there is definitely an opportunity for a deep connection here with somebody that you don't expect. But you're going to have to open up and let this person in. And you're going to have to uh, let go. Of something that you have been that has been in the way something has been in the way because this is an obstacle and it's fear you're gonna have to let go of your fear you're gonna have to let go of your fear you're gonna have to let your guard down you're gonna have to let go of your need to control let go of your need to win at all costs let go of your need to compete just surrender just surrender and accept accept something and I feel like that's really hard for you because there is somebody here and I know that a lot of you are pointing the finger at somebody else that is the biggest mistake that you can make this is like I think I said it in one of the other readings like the serenity prayer you know I do believe that you guys will be traveling somewhere this month and you are going to be running into somebody that you don't expect. 
This is a spiritual love. My advice is to go for it. Don't let fear hold you back. I feel like you've been in a hostile situation with somebody. And it feels like you've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Why fight? This is fight, 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 fight. Why fight? What good does it do? I think it's time for you to walk away from something that has kept you confined. It's kept you in prison. It's time for you to break free. Could be an addiction. Codependency. There is codependency here. Anyway, this month I feel as though uh, you are going to be walking away. You are. Hopefully. Or... I mean, somebody could end up in jail or prison because they're hostile. I mean, that's what that is right there. This is somebody who wants to fight, ends up in handcuffs behind bars. We definitely have somebody here that is unstable with that nine of pentacles reversed. And they need to get stable. It starts with the mind. Anger is here too. You need to let go of the anger. feel as though this month you are going to uh, get an offer that you didn't expect that could lead you towards happiness. But the choice will be yours. Good luck.